guys it's your girl naturally jazz and welcome to my channel welcome back if you are returning i'm so glad that you are viewing this video so today's video is going to be a get it all done sunday cleaning motivation video because we all need it so i prepared a list here of things that i need to get done and i'm just going to go ahead and try to get everything done on this list Ever so often, I like to do these videos just for motivations for mommies like me. So we're going to get right into it. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and tackle these dishes because Lord, I dread doing dishes so much. But once they start to pile up like this, I have no other choice but to get them done. Now, they have not been like this for very long. They've only been like this for like a day or so. But I decided to go ahead and just tackle them because I have got tired of looking at them. And versus just starting off with my room first, I wanted to go ahead and get this out of the way. So I'm making sure all of the dishes are thoroughly clean and I'm going to go ahead and just clean them up and just put them away and then move on to the next task as fast as possible because girl, dishes are a hassle. And now that I am done, I'm going to go ahead and use my favorite all-purpose spray ever just to go ahead and clean the sink because you want to make sure you're cleaning the sink once you're done. I'm going to go ahead and use this scrubbing brush here because I just love for some reason scrubbing and cleaning the dishes with a brush i just feel like it gets the job done a little bit more especially for those hard to scrub areas in the inner part of the sink where the food and stuff goes down but this is the brush that i use and i got it from target i really do love it and i'm gonna go ahead and just rinse everything that i scrubbed away to just get it nice and clean now i'll be taking a paper towel to go ahead and just dry the sink really well just to clean up all of the excess water that got in around the sink and outside of the sink because sometimes doing dishes can get messy so i'm just making sure that i dry everything properly and then next i'm just going to clean the upper part of the sink here with my seventh generation disinfecting spray because it has got a little dirty so i'm going to go ahead and spray that and wipe it down really well just to make sure it's all clean and i'm done and it's looking really good so i'm very happy and i love to just decorate this little area it's my favorite part of my kitchen then i'm going to be taking that same spray and just cleaning the countertops to make sure i get all of the excess dirt and stickiness or whatever got on the counters clean because like i said this is all purpose and it works great for everything so in the midst of me wiping the counters down i wanted to go ahead and start to clean the microwave to make sure it was all tidied up as well because nobody wants a nasty microwave and it is all done guys this is what it's looking like so next i decided to go ahead and tackle my stove because what's a clean kitchen with a dirty stove nobody wants a dirty stove so i'm just making sure i clean my stove thoroughly and make sure that it's looking all nice and clean as well and i'm using that same spray like i said it says bathroom but i like to use it for a bathroom kitchen whatever it's all purpose it's versatile and it works great so this is what the stove area is looking like and i love it okay guys so now it's time for laundry so this is the pile of laundry that i have to get done i already have some washing so i'm gonna go ahead and take the load that is already done washing out and i'm gonna get that in the basket so that it can get ready to dry so that i can start another load so i like to stay on top of my laundry because we have a lot of clothes and they pile up fast so this is the fabric softener I love to use. It's my favorite. It's the Downey's Nature's Blend. So I just like to take a cap full of this and pour it into the applicator. And then after that, I'll go ahead and pour in my laundry detergent. This is the detergent I like to use. This is the All Free and Clear. And it is just free of any scents that are basically going to irritate your skin if you have sensitive skin. So I love this because it still gets your clothes really nice and clean. And the fabric softener just helps it to smell really good as well. I just love the scent of that fabric softener. And now I'm going ahead and add the load into the washer so I can stay on top of each load as they come out. So that's what you guys see me doing here. And laundry is another one of those things that you have to stay on top of just like dishes because they will pile up. And so I'm going ahead and setting whatever it needs to be on just to make sure it washes properly. Mm -hmm. 
So while I was at it, I decided to go ahead and tidy up the living room as well. My kids keep so much trash and junk under my sofa. It's just like, oh my goodness, I can never keep it clean. But I am the mommy and I have to keep it clean even if they don't keep it clean. So that's what I'm doing right now. Just making sure I am sweeping under the sofas and all of the floors just to make sure all of the toys and trash and whatever is on the floor is just swept up really nicely and i usually have like a method of how i sweep and tidy up things in the living room but now i'm just kind of going and just straightening up things that i see are out of place because like i said my kids just love to be in here and this is their favorite place to be besides their room so i have to keep it clean and stay on top of things in here so it just takes a lot of straightening and cleaning and just getting things together and whenever I'm passing by I just like to make sure I sweep it up and tidy it up really really nicely. So after I've got it tidied up I'm going to go ahead and just sanitize and spray the sofa because I like to just keep it fresh especially because you never know when you'll have guests or anything come over and you just want to make sure your sofa is just clean and sanitized at all times and so I'm using this Lysol spray here to go ahead and sanitize and then after I'm done sanitizing with the Lysol spray making sure I get like the pillows and every single thing because I have no idea sometimes what my kids have on the sofa sofa or what they do um, but next I'm going to go ahead and freshen up with this Febreze here. This is a new one and I love it. It smells so good. It's the peach scented Febreze and I think it's limited edition. So I think I've grabbed a couple of bottles of these and I got it at Target. So I just freshen up with it and then I'm going to go ahead and lay this blanket across the sofa. Because you know when you have your air on in the house and you get a little cold and you're watching a show or something and you don't want to run to the back it's nice to have just like a blanket or something on the sofa to go ahead and tidy up with or cover up with so i know i've been rambling and just telling you guys everything what's going on in this video so from here i'm gonna pretty much just let you guys see what is going on and i'm gonna move into my daughter's room and just tidy up everything that's going on in her room not too bad but it does need to be straightened up especially all of the things on her bed Next is time for my boys room, which is not too bad. I usually just have to clean up all of their favorite toys from all over their bed because they have specific toys that they like to play with. And one of those being Beyblades and then the other are just always cards. So I'm cleaning up basically Pokemon cards right now. Just they're like scattered all over the bed, which is not really a problem. But like I said, I'm just trying to tidy up. So I'm just trying to just make sure 
that they don't have a lot of stuff laying around the bed because that do tend to bother me. I just like everything to be really tidy. So that's what you guys see me doing here. And please ignore their blinds. That's a no-no. But here is their bed all straightened up and tidy. So I had some laundry done in the dryer so I'm just gonna go ahead and get that out and then I'm moving on into my bedroom which was my last thing that I wanted to do so I'm just switching my sheets out for fresh sheets because it's Sunday and you want to start the new week with like fresh clean sheets and probably throughout the week maybe Wednesday I'll probably switch them out again because I just love to have fresh sheets on the bed always that's just a thing of mine like i just have to smell the freshness in the sheet exactly how it came out of like the dryer and the washer and i feel like once that scent starts to go away it's time for me to change my sheets I also like to change my bed spread depending on the season so we're coming out of winter into spring I had more like a fluffy furry type of bed spread which I loved it was my Ugg blanket but I tend to get hot and since it's getting spring I just wanted something very light and fluffy And now I'm going to try to hang this picture up. I just recently purchased it. I just love to always try to find ways to spruce up my room. So I don't have anything above my bed. And I hadn't had anything above my bed for the longest. And I also don't have any curtains on my window. Because I love the lighting that just comes in naturally. Just with the blinds up. But I didn't want it to be so plain. So I'm going to go ahead and add this picture above the bed. So this is what you guys are going to be seeing me do in the next scene.
And this is just some of my favorite things that I like to keep on my nightstand. Just like lip balm, all-purpose balm, a candle, essential oils. Especially because it's spring and diffusing just is very refreshing. And last but not least, I want to go ahead and clean off my vanity stand because I am here in this area a lot. I have a lot of my things on it and it tends to get messy. So I want to go ahead and get that cleaned off. In the midst of cleaning guys, I start to fidget with these nail polishes. The thing that I have them in is just not really working out well. It's just very awkwardly made. So I'm definitely going to be looking for another type of container for my vanity stand for those purposes. And here it is guys, all wiped down and clean. And I just love how it looks when it's all organized versus things being all over the place. Alrighty guys, so I have managed to get everything done on my list plus some. So if you enjoyed this video, definitely comment, like, subscribe if you haven't already. Give it a thumbs up. I thank you guys so much for tuning in and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye bye. Thank you.